What's going on everybody? Maddie LeMay from Facebook, 5Gen4R from Instagram, and Project Abate from YouTube. Joining me is my lovely golden retriever, Murphy. Um, I am making a video today for you guys that I've been wanting to make for a while. Um, the reason why I haven't is because uh, I had to wait for the item to get here. Uh, but nonetheless, it is here. Um, what I'm going to do for you guys today is do a product unboxing, a review, and then an install uh, of the item on my Forerunner. After all is said and done, the company that I partnered up with, uh, Ad Automotive, has agreed to do a giveaway for one lucky winner. So what you are gonna see in this video um, is gonna be up for wins for one lucky uh, viewer. I'll explain kind of how that giveaway is gonna work uh, shortly, but let's dive into it real quick. So I just opened the box. Um, it is a, again, unibody catalytic converter shield. It's not like many that you see on the market that come in numerous pieces. This is one solid piece. Uh, it's made out of 330 seconds, 5052 marine grade aluminum. So you don't have to worry about corrosion. You don't have to worry about it like bending or anything. It's, it's pretty thick, um, but it is sturdy. So this is, this is what it looks like. Again, nice and thick um, aluminum. Here you have the company uh, logo, Add a Cat. I don't know if you can see that or not. It is a uh, cat and that says Add a Cat. Um, so essentially, this will mount on both sides of your Forerunner. It will cover your cats on, on the uh, respective sides. And then the middle, uh, which is kind of open regularly, will uh, be covered at this point. So think of this as adding a second uh, skid plate to your vehicle just further back. So in addition to the skid plate, um, this company makes their, in, their own in-house uh, hardware. So I have a Forerunner, they sent me Forerunner hardware. The sweet thing about this is, you know, Normally skid plates um, or catalytic converter shields come with standard hardware. Well, Add a Cat or Add Automotive has thought about everything um, and they have their own proprietary hardware so that it makes it just that much harder for criminals um, to steal your catalytic converters because if they can't take off the shield, they're gonna have to cut it. Um, and one thing I wanna point out is this shield is not a end-all, stop-all for criminals. Um, just like your house, just like your car, um, you know, the locks on each of those, they're not meant to keep people out. They are deterrents. They are meant to slow the criminal down. If a criminal wants to get into your car, even though it's locked, they're going to get into your car. Same goes with your house. It is meant to buy you time either to call the police or react. Um, so that's kind of how I approach the catalytic uh, converter shield. It is not an end-all be-all. Uh, it is to buy time either to hear them, you know, trying to cut on your car and steal your parts or, um, you know, hopefully notify law enforcement and they can make it to you in time uh, to apprehend whoever's trying to see your stuff. But like I said, Cat Automotive made these proprietary screws that I don't think many people um, are going to have the socket or key to take this apart. So there's just that extra added layer of security that nor that other companies uh, might not have or include. So Cat Automotive was founded in 2021 uh, by a gentleman named Brad Whitham and Jennifer Klutz. Um, Brad is a master ASC technician uh, and mechanic. He has 23 years of automotive experience uh, in the manufacturing field. He was involved in every uh, design uh, that you see on his website. And Jennifer, on the other hand, has 24 years of experience uh, in website and graphic and digital designs. Uh, she also creates all the fabulous um, installation uh, guides. I printed this one for my Forerunner today. Um, really phenomenal stuff. Uh, makes it really easy 
it goes step by step and shows you exactly what you need to do. Shows you, you know, depending on the year of your vehicle, uh, what you might need. Talks about the tools you're going to need. Um, and then, you know, any extra protection that you might want for yourself or um, while you're working on your car. So this is pretty sweet because, you know, normally you don't get directions or they're in a foreign language. They're hard to understand. This takes all the guesswork out of it. All right, guys. So um, depending on your vehicle, whether you have a oil pan uh, shield, as shown in this image, there are two ports that you might have to knock out on this cat shield. What I mean by that is they come uh, like pre-sealed for those that might not have um, an oil pan shield. I have one, so for that reason, I'm gonna knock these out because the oil pan, oil pan shield has two uh, pieces of metal that stick out that actually will slide into this um, these holes. So what I'm gonna do is take a screwdriver, kind of pry underneath it, separate it, and then with some pliers, I'm gonna pull the aluminum uh, apart from the shield. Okay, so loosen the top, just breaks right off. These are held together by two tiny, um, like when they cut the metal, these two little pieces are not cut. So it's on there, like I can't remove this with my hand, um, but when you put a screwdriver or something underneath it to kind of wedge between, it does come off pretty, pretty sim simple. Okay, so second one. So now that that's done, let me check the instructions real quick and see what is next. Okay, so the next thing that needs to be removed is uh, this knockout right here in the center. Uh, so I'm just gonna wedge my screwdriver uh, here and same thing. It's knocked out and it is ready to go now. I took the uh, three knockout pieces off of the catalytic converter shield. These two, as well as the center one. So now the cat shield looks like this. You have these three new holes. Um, this cat shield that I'm holding here, if you look at the directions or install guide that I was provided, it says it's compatible with four runners from 2003 to 2023. Uh, the V6 Tacoma from 2005 all the way to 2023, all models of the FJ Cruiser, the Lexus GX 460 from 2005 to 2023, and the Lexus GX 470 from 2003 to 2023. So quite a array of compatibility. Um, when I do this giveaway, I'm going to give you guys all the... Um, rules and conditions uh, at the end of the video, but all those models that I just named, the FJ, uh, the 4Runner, the Tacoma, and the Lexus GX 460 and 470, anybody who owns those cars um, can join this giveaway. Really, anybody can join the giveaway, but if you don't have those cars, you're not going to be able to use this. Um, so I'm going to cut this video, and next you will see me underneath my 4Runner, getting ready uh, to install this. So, see you guys in a bit. All right. All right, so we're at the mechanic shop. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is take the oil pan um, cover off. It's held by four 12 millimeter bolts. Um, on the Lexus and Limited models, you're gonna take off the factory spoiler. Uh, once the oil pan uh, cover is taken off, uh, further down, there's the braces. You're gonna take the two 12 millimeter bolts off of the braces closest to the front of the vehicle, and you're gonna loosen the ones in the rear, but you're not gonna take them off. So I'm gonna go do that now.
we have the oil pan shield removed and the the cross member uh, braces are separated in the front and loose in the back on both sides um, the next step per the directions is to put a single bracket uh, on the passenger side hole so I'm gonna take one of these and put it on the passenger side the next step is to install the uh, catch shield onto the vehicle. So, we're going to take it like so. I'm going to set it right here. And I'm going to go get the hardware for it. <laughs> Come on, man. That's why there's that knockout. All right, guys. So the Atticat is added on. Um, I broke a bolt here, so I have to replace it. Uh, I got to drill it out at a later point in time. But these four bolts uh, were loosened. I retightened those. Um, it's nice and sturdy. It's not going anywhere. The cats are protected, so you can't cut them based on where it's at. Um, and it's nice and solid. It doesn't uh, rattle or anything, so we are good to go. All right, guys, so by now you've seen the uh, install of Ad Automotive's uh, Cat Shield on my 2014 uh, 4Runner. Again, pretty straightforward. Um, if you stick to the directions and follow them, uh, you should not have any issues. The most complicated or difficult part of that install for me was when I broke the bolt off of one of the support braces. Um, I couldn't decide if I wanted to drill out the bolt and retap it at that very moment or if I was going to you know do it later this weekend uh, and I decided I'm just going to do it later this weekend most likely take it somewhere and just get it done because I don't want to get under the car and deal with it um, so again the install is very easy especially if you follow the uh, directions so now um, I'm going to tell you guys what you need to do uh, to enter uh, for the giveaway uh, you need to follow my Instagram and add automotives Instagram. I'll put the uh, handles down here. Mine is 5gen4r and then add automotive is literally ADD automotive. Again, I will throw it down here as well. Um, so you have to follow both of us and I'm going to post a picture of the cat shield uh, on my vehicle uh, on my Instagram. You're going to navigate to that picture and you're gonna tag two friends uh, in the comments and tell them or tell everybody why you want this cat shield, why you deserve it. As far as timeline goes, uh, tomorrow is Thursday the 28th of March. Uh, so the giveaway is gonna start uh, on the 28th of March. 
and it is going to run approximately one week. So that will mean that the giveaway will conclude on Thursday, April 4th. At that point in time, uh, I'm gonna take all the people who followed both pages and tagged two friends and commented why they deserve the uh, cat shield on that Instagram photo that I post. I'm gonna tally up uh, usernames, put them in a self, like one of those uh, apps where it picks a member at random. And then I will notify uh, the winner that they won the uh, cat shield. Once I notify the winner, I'm gonna also notify Ad Automotive. And at that point in time, uh, Ad Automotive is gonna coordinate with you by getting your address uh, and name, and they're going to send you the cat shield uh, to your house. Shipping is free, everything is free. Um, again, you just have to follow the rules to the giveaway. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope that, you know, through watching this video, um, it kind of opened your guys' mind uh, to the fact that there are other companies uh, that do the same thing as big box companies, uh, sometimes doing it better. Um, you know, this being one of them. Uh, Ad Automotive is a fairly small company. Uh, they've been around only since 2021. However, uh, I am sold on their products. Uh, I really like the cat shield that I put on my car tonight. Um, I think it's going to hold up very well. I think it's built well um, and it's American made. So give them a follow. Um, and I hope that you guys you know, consider them in the future if you do end up putting a cat shield on your 4Runner, Cruiser, um, Tacoma, or other vehicles. Um, it is not limited to Toyota. They do uh, make cat shields for a variety of vehicles. So if you know anybody that is in the market for one, uh, direct them to Cat Automotive or Ad Automotive. So thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, like, subscribe, and there will be more stuff coming out soon. Have a good night, guys.